Scarified by Paul Gilbert slash Razor X. Another legendary shred guitar song a lot of people are struggling with and if you are one of those, you should check whether you are doing one of the following fundamental mistakes and learn how to fix them. The main part of Scarified basically is one big seemingly endless three note per string run in different positions and tempos. And what most players are struggling with is to keep up tempo and accuracy during the string transitions within these three note per string runs. So let's take a look at the most prominent mistakes that might feel right but hinder people from progressing. And mistake number one is string hopping. Pretty much every guitar player uses this hopping motion, especially while playing slow, in order to prevent any unwanted contact to other strings and like that create accuracy in their playing. Now, the point is, this technique works very well at slow tempos, but is not maintainable at higher speeds. The faster you play, your picking motion automatically becomes more straight, more linear. And this is the exactly right way to play if you want to have a fast and consistent alternate picking technique to play lines like in Scarified. But the problem that occurs with this linear picking motion is that the pick starts to get stuck in between the strings when trying to transition from one string to the other. And this leads us to mistake number two. People stick to their great linear picking motion but now start to push through multiple strings with one pick stroke. And like that they double hit notes and sound very inaccurate and sloppy. And the solution to this very fundamental problem on the guitar is apply angles to your picking, also known as pick slanting. And when I talk about the angles of the pick, I don't mean the angle towards the string that might help you to glide easier through the strings, but the angles that will determine the direction of the pick stroke by rotating your forearm and wrist. So you can either rotate your wrist and your whole forearm in or up and now like that I create a string escape motion as Ben Eller would say. Greetings to you Ben. And if I now perform a downstroke with this angle my pick automatically goes out, up and above the strings and makes a clean transition to the next string possible. The opposite of that would be rotating my wrist and my forearm down and create this downward pick angle. And now I have a string escape motion with my upstroke, as you can see. Now let's apply both of these angles to the song and make the string transitions happen. Let's start right at the beginning. After we played the first 10 consecutive notes, which is this F sharp on 2nd fret low E string, the first 3 note per string run appears, where we play fret 4, 5, 7 and then transition to the A string, 4th fret and right back to the low E string. So, like that. Now the crucial moment always is the last pick stroke right before the string transition as this stroke so to speak initiates uh, the string transition. In this case that would be after we played fret number 7. So we started with 4, 5, 7. Now we have this down stroke that should lead us to the A string. In this case I have to apply my upward pick slant as this angle automatically gives me this string escape motion with the downstroke. And like that I can easily now transition to the A string 
without touching any other strings, without double plugging or without having to lift my pick out with the wrist. one linear motion. Now, once we reach the A string for thread, we have to transition right back to the low E string F sharp again. Now, this pick stroke is an up stroke. So if we continue to play with this upward pick slant, our pick would just get stuck right in between the low E and A string. So we have to change our angle here to a downward pick slant because with this angle I automatically get a string escape motion with the up stroke. And this is what we use now to transition right back to the E string. So all together the whole sequence for your right hand would look like this. You start with an upward slant, then switch to the downward slant and can play your last note and like this you made clean string transitions without any additional hopping motion and also not with economy picking but actually alternate picking so again this is what it looks like now a little quicker perfect If you want a complete breakdown of the main section of Scarified, I just uploaded a detailed lesson on my Patreon page. Patreon.com slash David Schneider Guitar. The link is in the description. And there you can find even more lessons, for example, on Bleed by Mishuga, Technical Difficulties by Paul Gilbert, or a whole lesson on pick slanting itself. Plus, if you are interested in my gear, in the guitar of the video, or you just want to support me a little bit, you can do that by using the affiliate link down below in the description box. So, I hope you learned something today. See you in my next video. Bye bye.